What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with the uh, post-game video for the New York Giants versus the Los Angeles Rams. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. It helps out the video more than you'll know. Really do appreciate you all tuning in for this. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel because no matter how bad the Giants are, you know that I'm going to be here week in and week out because I'm a New York Giants fan, and it's it's what we do as New York Giants fan content creators. You guys are the best supporters and subscribers on YouTube, you, you Giants fans, you YouTube. I can't even talk. This game's got me so shook I can't even talk. Uh, but, yeah, you're the best, man. This team is 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 alder, utterly embarrassing. Let me try to get my words together. Use your words, bad dog. Utterly embarrassing. Do me a favor. Turn your headphones down. I don't know where I'm going with this video. I always say I'm not going to yell. Then I start thinking about things, and it just pisses me off. I don't even know where to go with the Giants. Every time you think they can't hit a new low, every time you think they've hit rock bottom, they find a way to get lower. Right? 38 to 11. The game ain't even that close. Game should have been 52 to 3, 59 to 3. That was one of the most utterly embarrassing, piss poor, pathetic, piece of garbage performances I've ever seen in the 38 years I've watched this team. And it seems like I say this every week. How is it possible that every week I could say this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life watching the Giants? They even try. Cooper Cup's last touchdown, they let him walk in. They didn't even try. Shades of 2017 when he lost 51-3. to Joe Judge needs to be gone. Dude's garbage. Bye. Bye. Laps aren't good enough for him. He ought to swim laps in the damn Hudson River with cement shoes. And what an embarrassing performance. I mean, you have no pride. The, the whole thing is New York Giant pride. This team has no pride. It has no guts at all. Uh, I get paid millions of dollars. I don't care. I don't care. Who cares? I get paid. I'm good. At the end of the game, I'm going to take my shower. I'm going to eat my free meal. The big spread. I'm going to eat that. Not a care in the world. I'm going to drop it, jump into my Ferrari or my Maserati. And then I'm going to drive to my freaking mansion. I'm going to live it up. Yeah, I'm a professional football player, man. I don't care if we win or lose. I get paid. That's the way they play. No heart at all. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I do put my heart and soul into this team every week. And it tears my heart out to see this team every week hit epic lows. Daniel Jones, that was the worst performance I think he's had in his entire career. No sugar coating. Two weeks ago, the, the, people wonder why I'm up and down on Daniel Jones the way I am. Because two weeks ago, the guy still over 400 yards and you're saying, oh my God, look at this guy. There's people making, oh, he's the franchise quarterback. He's this, he's that. I said, well, let's wait little bit and then he does this and then you wonder why i'm like this guy sucks because he is that guy he is he, he is uh new york yankees he is all or nothing one day he looks like he could be the next top 10 quarterback in the league and then he looks like he don't even belong at the college level and it's not just Daniel Jones. Well, I know people want to blame Daniel Jones and people want a new quarterback, and I understand that. But if you bring a quarterback into this mess, the quarterback isn't going to perform. People talk about injuries. Yes, we have injuries. We can't keep using this as an excuse, man. This team is poorly constructed. It's got no offensive line. It's got no defensive line. It's got a running back that can't stay on the field. It's got a quarterback that's... You, you, can't, you can't trust him. You don't know what the hell he's going to bring every week. It's got a head coach that doesn't know what the hell he's coaching. It's got an offensive coordinator that can't freaking coach a high school team. It's got a defensive coordinator that sits there and plays the same damn defense every week that gets torn apart. I don't even know what to do. I, I, I mean, I, I'm at a loss for words about how bad this team is. And then the thing that sucks is most years, like last year, I predicted them to be 6-10. and 10. Well, this year I thought they'd be better. Hey, I listen to everybody's excuse. You know, everybody's like, bad dog, you're too negative, bad dog. You're Fine, I try to be optimistic. And I say, you know what, we were 5-3 and three in the last eight games because you know what, and maybe they finally got command of the system and they're getting used to everybody and all this stuff. And they're 5-3 and three with Daniel Jones hurt and a backup quarterback. I said, hey. This team might be better this year. And then they go out and they sign Kenny Galladay. They pay him a fortune. They get a Dory Jackson. And I'm like, man, we're going to be pretty good this year. You didn't expect the defense to be one of the worst in football. You didn't know what you were going to get with the offense. You thought the offense would be better adding Kenny Galladay, getting Barkley back and everything else. Well, guess what? They're worse. They're worse. And as I said before, 
Dave Gettleman has taken the dumpster fire that was the New York Giants and done nothing but dump a truck full of gasoline on it. He should be fired tomorrow. He should be fired yesterday. He should have been fired at halftime. It is embarrassing to walk around as a Giants fan. It's terrible. They are the by far the because look at the Jets. Okay, the Jets are rough. I get it. The Jets have struggled. The Jets have a future, right? At least you're looking at a future. You, you're trying. You built the offensive line. You got Vera Tucker. You got Zach Wilson. You're going to struggle. It happens. Rookie quarterbacks are going to struggle, but there's something to build on. In Jacksonville, you got your first win of the, of the year today. You got Trevor Lawrence. You know, you, you got to get Urban Meyer the hell out of there. But you got Trevor Lawrence. You got something to build on. You have something to look forward to. Lions fans may be in the same boat we are. I don't really, I I don't watch the Lions. I don't get the Lions up here. The Lions are never on national television except for Thanksgiving. So I don't really know what they are. I don't know what they have. But I know with us, and I've said this a number of times, when you look at the New York Giants, the people saying Kadarius Toney, when I asked this today in the stream, I said, what do the Giants have to look forward to? Who are you building this team around? And it's Kadarius Toney. Okay, well, you don't build a team around a wide receiver. We learned that with Odell Beckham, right? But Kadarius Toney, as good as he was the the first two weeks, the only reason I mentioned him is because I'm like, this is the one thing we have to look at. And he got hurt today. After he had two catches in the first drive, he's out with an ankle injury. But how can you say we can build around him after two games? This is how bad the Giants are that after two games, they're like, we can build around Kadarius Tony. <laughs> I have no answers for this team. This team takes it out of me week in and week out. You know, even when I don't expect them to win, and I didn't expect them to beat the Rams, the Rams... I mean, shout out to the Rams. I should say that first. The Rams are a damn good team. The Rams are a Super Bowl contender. They're, they're a freaking good team. That is a good team. Completely healthy or not, we weren't beating the Rams. But what I do expect from the New York Giants is a little bit of professionalism, a little bit of effort, a little bit of, like, pride, a little bit, a little, little bit, just a little bit. We don't get that here anymore. We don't get pride. We don't, get, we don't even get moral victories here. The Giants are so bad, we don't even have moral victories anymore. pathetic it's absolutely pathetic i am at my wits end with this team i am at my wits end because there is nothing to look at everything needs to be flushed every just pick the whole damn stadium up and dump it in the hudson river dump it there with all the shit that lays around in there because that's where the franchise that plays in this horrible stadium, that life is horrible too. You ever been there? It sucks. I'd rather go to the old piece of crap Meadowlands that it used to be. That life's an embarrassing stadium. Everything about the Giants is embarrassing. Everything about the Giants is piss poor. Like I said, from the stadium to the damn owner to the GM all the way down to whatever you want to do. I've had it. I've had it. Every time I think I can't get to my breaking point, every time they do something to p- just push me farther and farther and farther past it. I hate I, I hate what this organization has become. I hate it. You know, I, I talked about how much I hate the Yankees. It's funny to me that I watch a team of the Yankees that have made the, the postseason five straight times, won 92 games, and I think that's disappointing. I would kill for the Giants to win six games a year. Six games. We were 6-10 and 10 last year, and we were excited. That is how bad this team is. 6-10, and 10 and we were excited about it. That's how low... This organization is. John Mara, you are a disgrace to your family's name. You should be on the street selling this damn team for a quarter. I would take anybody in the stands to freaking own this team and they'd do a better job. Anybody on YouTube would do a better at GM in this team. You could not do worse. Well, I say that. Well, you couldn't do worse, but they'll do worse next week. Somehow they'll find a way to hit a new low. And then what happens with the Giants is out of nowhere, they'll beat, like, they'll beat a team like Tampa Bay. Like that, That's the stupid things that they do. I'm not saying they're going to beat Tampa Bay. Don't be like, oh, you said they're going to beat Tampa Bay. No. What I'm saying is, as an example, the Giants lose, dumb, and then they come out and they beat a team they have no business beating. None. That's what they do. And then you're like, oh, maybe we're going to be getting it. And then the next week they get beat 38 to 11. Like that's the type of thing that the Giants are. They're tiring. They're embarrassing. They're absolute trash. They're, they're terrible. And Giants fans, you ought to be pissed. I know you are. You should be. And you shouldn't go to the stadium, right? Why bother? 
Why bother wasting your money? Why bother sitting in those in those lines? Why bother paying 15 bucks for nachos as we talked about today, probably with fake cheese? Why pay 13 bucks for a beer? Why pay 100 bucks for parking? Why pay hundreds of dollars for tickets? Why? For what? For what? Why would you do that? That's like going into a dollar store and paying $10 for a soda. That's really what it is. That's what the New York Giants are. They're a dollar store clearance rack NFL franchise. Piss poor trash. And they will continue to be that way until major changes are made. And what I mean by major changes is probably getting rid of the, the owner selling the damn team. Because I don't know what else to go. I don't know where to go with this team. No, no idea where to go. I, I, every time I say there's nowhere to go but up, they end up going down. So who knows? Anyway, I'm done ranting uh, on this team. And uh, if you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe to the channel because regardless of how good or bad they are, I'm going to be here. I'm a glutton for punishment. The problem is I love this team more than I should. It's bad diggity dizzle amount. Peace.